Dear students, welcome to the classroom. Today we are going to learn the new lesson of Introduction to Computers, Standard Fifth, Lesson Number Four, Introduction to Windows. So watch the video carefully. Dear students, a computer processes input data according to instructions to generate information. Data and information could be anything: letters, numbers, sounds. or even pictures to process any data a computer needs hardware and software and to actually run a computer you need an operating system so my dear students let's learn more about these new terms hardware dear students all the computer devices and equipment such as the keyboard mouse monitor cpu box electronic circuits inside the cpu box etc which you can see and touch is called hardware software dear students all facts information and programs stored in a computer is called software all the programs that are used to perform various tasks on the computer is also called software operating system the students a series of programs that is used to operate a computer is called an operating system graphics pictures and symbols produced by a computer are called graphics now my dear students let's learn more about operating system on receiving data from the input devices the cpu sends it to memory unit The CPU then obtains data from the memory unit and processes it to generate information. The information thus generated is then sent to the memory unit. The CPU gives the necessary instruction to send the information from the memory unit to the output devices or storage devices. Thus the CPU controls the entire working of the computer. But how does the CPU know what is to be done when and how? Well there are special programs that help the CPU to perform its functions a series of such programs that are used to operate a computer is called an operating system an operating system allows the computer to do all the tasks that you want it to do an operating system controls the hardware like keyboard and printer for example if you have typed a document You use the mouse or keyboard to select the command to check the spellings. Now the CPU will run the operating system which will interpret the command and then search the computer memory for software to check spelling. When the software is found, the operating system sends it into the memory of the computer. The CPU will then read the software and correct the spelling in your document. This means that an operating system controls the processes that store and retrieve data from the memory of the computer. In short, an operating system organizes and controls a computer. Now, we will learn about Windows operating system. Dear students, most computers run an operating system called Microsoft Windows, popularly known as Windows. Windows is an user-friendly operating system with graphical interface. The term graphical interface means you do not have to remember the commands to use the computer. If you want to perform a task, you can use the mouse to just click on tools or commands or its relevant pictures on the screen. Dear students, what makes the Windows operating system so popular? Let's see some of its striking features. In Windows, each program opens in a separate window on the screen. Hence the name window You can work in several programs at the same time. You need not remember different commands to work in Windows. You can just click on a tool or command or its relevant picture on the Windows. Frequently used tool or commands appear as icon buttons on the window. There is no danger of losing any unsaved data if you shut down Windows before saving a document. The computer will ask you whether you want to save the document or changes made in it. If you click on the yes button, the computer will save the document and then shut down Windows. If you click on the no button, the document will not be saved. So my dear students, in this video we have learned about operating system and Windows operating system. So watch the video carefully to understand the lesson.